Hi, I'm Kasane Appleby, and today I'm here to tell you about the Optimum 9400. It can blend, you can do food processing tasks, you can heat your food, and you can even replace your ice cream maker. But what makes the Optimum a high quality appliance such as it is, is what's under the casing. So today, not only will we look at all of the functions, we'll look at the features of this blender and why you should have it in your kitchen. The blades in this blender are 100% stainless steel. Other blenders use mild steels. This means that the blender can cut through just about anything. I'm gonna pop these almonds right in here and we're gonna make almond flour. Now there's two things you can do here. You could make almond butter by blending them for a continuous period or you can make an almond flour by pulsing and ensuring you don't overblend. Here we go. There we have an almond flour. If you wanted to make almond butter, which you absolutely can do, just keep blending. And if you'd like it a little bit more wet, add a tablespoon or two of almond oil or another neutral oil. In the meantime, here we have a bowl of almond meal or almond flour that you can use in your baking or raw cooking recipes. Let's wet chop some onions. I know cutting onions is one of the worst things that makes you cry and the Optimum 9400 makes it really, really easy. All I need to do is remove the skin of my onion and place it straight in the blender jug. Then you simply add enough water to lift the onions up off the blades. We pop the lid on the blender jug and we pulse a few times to make sure there's no tears when I chop this onion. Well, the next function we're going to look at on the Optimum 9400 is how to grate cheese. All you need to do is take a block, chop it into a couple of cubes and throw the cubes straight into the blender. We use the pulse function to make them grate. Coffee beans straight into the dry jug, lid on securely and pulse. Whip some cream. Quality is why the Optum 9400 is so successful, and I love the fact that you can grind whole buckwheats like these into a flour. The jug is made of Eastman Trital Co-Polyester, which means that it's BPA free and commercial grade. We've even tried running a forklift over it just to check. It's great quality and it didn't even crack. So it's wonderful for making things like almond milk. You pop one cup of almonds using the measurements in the side into the jug and top it up with four cups of water. It's really important to remember as well that we don't want to use a, a glass jug with a high speed blender because we don't want it to break and cause any injury. So this is a perfect alternative. <laughs> Good idea to get into the habit of turning your blender back down to low before you switch it off and take out the contents. So here we have our blended almonds and water. But then we simply pop the mixture straight into the nut milk bag. Simply twist and squeeze to get all of the milk into your bowl. Pour it into a jug and you can keep it in your fridge for about four to seven days. bearings found only in high-end blenders allow the 9400 to last for many years without leaking or seizing which means they're great for commercial use but also great because your juice won't leak. So let's make a blender juice. All you need to do in this particular case is pop three and a half cups of pineapple straight in the blender, leave the core in, the bromelain's great for your digestive system, just under one cup of ice, blend until smooth and creamy. board in 
inside of the blender is what controls the motor and increases longevity. The PCB in the 9400 has what we call automatic torque control. I like to call it, or think about it, like automatic speed control. What it does is when it detects thick contents, like ice in the slushy that we're about to make, it will increase the power through the blender, ensuring that the blades remain at the same speed and putting less strain on the motor. Overall, the blender lives longer. So let's make a slushy. All we need to do is pop some coconut water into the blender, Add a little bit of coconut nectar to taste. Up to you, one, two, three lemons. Let's start with two, and then we pop in a good couple of cups of ice. Pop the lid on, use the tamper, start on low, work your way up to high, and in just a few secs, you'll have a slushy. Many of the features of the Optimum 9400 are things that are not visible to the naked eye. Just like you may not notice the automatic torque control from the PCB board kicking in or the blades adjusting speed, you may not know that there is an iron fan inside, electric filters and magnetic fields. These are all things that make this appliance last for years on your kitchen bench and while blending the thickest and hardest of contents. And one thick content we can blend is some good old raspberry ice cream. So all we need to do is pop in the jug, starting with the most liquid item first, full cream milk, thickened cream, caster sugar, a little bit of vanilla paste, and all of these frozen raspberries. Lid goes on and we use the tamper, starting from one and moving all the way up to 10. Use the tamper about 30 seconds, thick and creamy. You might even hear the motor change sound and then you can serve and eat right away. mango sorbet is extra creamy and has no dairy. Really great for people with allergies. Popping in about a half a cup of lemon juice, coconut nectar, two peeled bananas, one and a half cups of frozen mango and a pinch of cayenne pepper. We pop the lid on and blend until smooth, creamy and delicious. <laughs> of the 9400 blender is that it can create heat. It creates heat by the friction caused from the blades. We're gonna make a hot cream of spinach soup in just about five minutes. You simply start by adding the almond milk and the spinach. You give it a quick pulse to mix those two ingredients and then you add the rest. That'll allow lots of space inside of the blender. Once you've done that, you can add the rest of the ingredients and blend until warm, about three to five minutes. Turn the bend back to low before turning it off and even when you take the lid off you'll see steam rising straight from the top. This is a really thick creamy soup. Pour it straight in the bowl and serve it up nice and warm with a sprig of mint on top. You'll absolutely love it. The blade in this jug is the longest six blade assembly on the market. It's great because it means that there's easier chopping and slicing with the 9400 blender. We're gonna throw in about a cup of beetroot and then slice it up nice and fine to make a delicious beetroot salad. Something people don't often think to do with a regular blender is knead bread dough, but that's one of the awesome features and functions of the Optimum 9400. All you need to do is pop in your whole wheat flour or flour of your choice into the blender. Then you're gonna turn it on low to create a well in the middle so that you can pour in the rest of the ingredients. So I've created that nice well in the center there, and then I'm gonna pop in some water, some yeast, and a little bit of honey. I can add, if I choose, a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of salt. I will need to use the scraper and just scrape down the sides of the blender as I go until I get a nice knead. You might 
only describe them sides once or twice, just like with all of the food processing functions that you can do in the Optimum Blender. There we have it, kneaded bread dough. All we have to do is use our scraper to scrape it out of the jug, pop it in a bowl, let it sit covered with a damp tea towel until it's risen to the desired height, pop it in the oven and bake it. Fastest, easiest bread ever. And you can make sure you know exactly what's in it. And that's one of the great features of the Optimum 9400 Blender is you know what you put in your food. Well, we have made loads of different things in here, from hot soups to frozen ice creams and everything in between. We're on to our last dish where you can use the Optimum Blender to save you a load of time just on chopping and making your breakfast. We're gonna have an omelette. Before I do, I wanna point out that the Optimum 9400 comes in a range of different colors. We've been using the maroon one, now we've got the black one, and you can see behind me there's a silver and white as well. Lots of different Optimum Blenders to fit your home and loads of different functions to make your life easier. So let's see how quick breakfast can be. All we do, take the lid off, break in a few eggs, add a teeny dash of water, just a few tablespoons, throw in a little knob of butter, some salt and pepper to taste. Now we want to blend this up until the eggs are nice and frothy and then we'll add our veggies. Delicious whipped eggs and to get a little bit of flavour add in a half a tomato, some baby spinach, cheese, we know that the blender can grate that, a little bit of onion and pulse a few times until everything is chopped. Pour it in your pan and off you go, ready to cook. That is that, an easy green spinach and tomato omelette, pour it in spread it out, toss on just a few cherry tomatoes cut into halves and pop it on the stove. And while your omelette's cooking, you can easily wash your blender jug in just a few seconds. All you've got to do is add some water to the jug, a little bit of detergent if you've been using greasy ingredients and we did add a little butter in there. So just a tiny dash of detergent. Pop the lid on and make sure it's securely in place so you don't paint your ceiling. Pop it on top and blend for about 20 or 30 seconds and that's going to clean the blender jug and the blades. About 20 or 30 seconds, goes just like that. Rinse it out with hot water in the sink and you are done and dusted. An absolutely fabulous appliance for every single home, whether you like hot soup, ice cream, or freshly made omelets. I'm sure that you'll enjoy it and so will your family. Make sure you comment below and tell us what you think. Ask anything that you need to ask and we'll see you soon. Ciao for now.